Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiadal algebra problem. So here we have x plus 4 whole square equals to 36 and we solve this problem for the values of x. So students here in this problem we solve uh, this for two methods uh, and I hope so you like both of these methods. So if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. So here uh, we will discuss our first method and now here in the first method we need to focus in the left hand side and here we have this is x plus 4 whole square so we can apply the algebraic formula here. You know that if we have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus 2 times of ab plus b square. So according to this formula we write here our above left hand side as here you see that this is x is our a and this 4 is our b uh, and now here we need to expand this formula and it will be written as um, x square plus 2 times of a b here our a is x and b is 4 plus b square so b is 4 square and this is equals to 36 and now in the next step uh, we need more simplification and it will be written as x square plus this is 2 times of 4 becomes 8x and plus this 4 square equals to 16 and here we move this 36 in the left hand side and we get minus 36 equals to 0. And now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as uh, this is x square plus uh, 8x and 16 minus 36 equals to minus 20 and this whole equals to 0. So you see here this equation will become quadratic in x variable. So uh, we have the three methods to solve the quadratic equation. The first method is uh, to applying the factorization method or to make the factors of this equation. The second method is uh, completing square method and the third method is quadratic formula so uh, here you can apply any one of these three methods which you like uh, now uh, I can apply the quadratic formula to solve this equation so for quadratic formula first we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b equals to 8 and c equals to minus 20 and uh, the uh, we state the quadratic formula as in this form x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is our quadratic formula and now we need to put the values of a b and c here so we have the value of b is 8 when we put it here it will becomes minus 8 plus minus square root of b square b is 8 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is minus 20 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equal to 1 and now here in the next step we have minus 8 plus minus square root of 8 square so this 8 square equals to 64 and this is minus times of minus becomes here plus 4 times of 20 equals to 80 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. And now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is minus 8 plus minus 64 plus 80 equals to square root of 144 divided by 2 and we know that uh, the square root of 144 equals to 12 and it is divided by 2. So these are the, uh, here we obtain two cases uh, for uh, the values of x. So first we write here the positive value, it is minus 8 plus 12 divided by 2. And here we write the negative value, it is minus 8 minus 12 divided by 2. And now here further in the next step we uh, need 
uh, to solve these two cases simultaneously first we focus in the positive value case here you see that uh, x is equals to minus 8 plus 12 equals to 4 over 2 and in this case we have x is equals to minus 8 minus 12 becomes minus 20 over 2 so you see here these are cancelled out by each other 2 times of 2 becomes 4 uh, so that we will get the value of x equals to 2 and in this case we have x is equals to this is 2 tens are 20 and we get x equals to minus 10 so this is the uh, two values of x which we get uh, uh, from first method and now here we need to move uh, towards the second method okay uh, so in order to apply the second method first we need to copy down the given question statement it is x plus 4 whole square equals to 36 so that now we apply uh, the second method uh, and now here in the second method we need to focus in the right hand side and in the right hand side we have this is 36 and we write it as x plus 4 whole square equals to 36 we write 36 as 6 square and now here we move the 6 square in the left hand side and it will be written as x plus 4 whole square minus 6 square and this whole equation equals to 0. So further in the next step we need to apply here the algebraic formula you know that if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this formula here our a is equals to x plus 4 and our b is equals to 6 so when we put, apply this formula to the bob equation so that our bob equation is written as this is a minus b here our a is x plus 4 minus b is 6 into this is a plus b and here again our a is x plus 4 and b is 6 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step we need more simplifications and we write it as this is 4 minus 6 becomes here minus 2 and this will become 4 plus 6 is 10 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now we break this equation into the two cases so first case is we take x minus 2 equals to 0 second case is we take x plus 10 equals to 0 and in this case we easily get the value of x equals to 2 and in this case we get the value of x equals to minus 10 so these are the uh, same values which we get here from first method so this is the final values of x and now in the next step we need to verify these two values is these two values are satisfied our given question statement uh, for this we again copy down the given question statement here it is x plus 4 whole scale equals to 36 here we verify x equals to 2 and here we verify x equals to minus 10. So that first we need to put uh, x equals to 2 here and it will be written as 2 plus 4 whole square equals to 36. 2 plus 4 becomes 6 square equals to 36 and 36 equals to 36. This shows that x equals to 2 satisfy given question statement. So here we verify this value. We put minus 10 here it will becomes minus 10 plus 4 whole square equals to 36 minus 10 plus 4 becomes minus 6 square equals to 36 and minus 6 square becomes 36 equals to 36 this shows that the second value of x is also satisfied the given question statement this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos